Hello, welcome. This is a great problem from uh, Open Middle, and um, what they want you to do is to fill in each of these different boxes with digits one through nine, without using a digit more than once. So you can't put a one in two spots to create um, equivalent fractions. So why don't you toy around with this and see what you can do, and then press play when you're ready to talk about it. All right. So there's lots of possibilities here, and you might start playing around with different things. Um, what you might do, for example, let's say you put, um, there's lots of answers here. Let's say you start with the half and you write it as 2 over 4. You might start listing out other ways of getting a half. Like I know I can get 3 over 6, and so far it seems to be working. And then I also know I can get, well, 5 out of 10. And everything works so, so easily there, right? But what if you didn't know to do that? Like what if you're trying other things? How do you start to figure this problem out? How do you start looking at it to find possible solutions? Well, there's a, a strategy that uh, is really useful in problem solving. This is called just do something. So even though you might not see what's happening here, you might try some other possibilities. Like, like let's say you're like, well, I want to see if I can get a fourth to happen. Well, if you're trying a fourth, you might think, okay, well, what are other fractions that are equivalent to a fourth? I can get two out of eight. I can double both. Okay, so so far that seems to be working. I'll put that over here. And then I can triple it, three over 12. And here, I might say, okay, I'll try that, 3 over 12, but wait a minute, I can't use 1 twice. That doesn't work. Oops. So let me try some other things, right? I can try 4 out of 16, but I can't do that because I can't use a 4 twice. And then um, 5 over 20, almost, but I can't use a 2 twice. And then I have 6 over 24, almost, maybe it's getting something. 7 over 28, can't use these, right? The use a 4 again and an 8 again. I've already got those. And then 9 out of 36, and boom, I've got something that works. 9 over 36. So here, notice I'm just I'm starting with a fourth, listing out my, the possibilities to see what can happen. Now, as you tool around with these, you'll see that some of them definitely won't work. Like, for example, I know a fifth and a sixth and a seventh and an eighth and a ninth all can't work because I know I can't get a second fraction as a fifth that has two single digits, right? The next smallest fraction that has a fifth in it is equal to a fifth is two over 10, right? There's, and that would fill this spot, except for now I have repeat ones and I have a zero and then they're only asking for one through nine. But here, there's no way to get a fraction. I can't squeeze in 2 over 10 because this box only represents one digit. And the same is true for 6 and 7 and 8 and ninths and so on and so forth. So as you start to eliminate fractions and play around, you'll stumble upon another solution, which is 3 over 4. So if you put 3 over 4 over here, again, all I'm going to do is find equivalent fractions. Right? 6 over 8. All right, that seems to work so far. And then I could triple it 9 over 12. And boom. I've got another fraction that works. Now, are there other solutions? I don't know. I think so. Definitely found um, the three that I shared in this video. Now, they're also listed on the website. But you, you might explore and see if there are other options. I'm not really sure if there are. You might also change it so it's 0 through 9 to see if that opens up other possibilities. There's lots of fun ways you could play with this. All right. I hope this helps.